Welcome back collectors. I've got a huge green light haul for you today. We're going to be going through most of this stuff. Uh, starting off with the brand new Dually Drivers Series 1. Check out these incredibly large heavy trucks. All with Dually tires. We've got a mixture of Fords, Chevys and Dodge. And this is brand new like I said. You guys may or may not have seen these yet. They are hitting the uh, department stores in North America at least so far as I know there's one example the 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 HD all of these trucks coming out of the package for review today and there's the full set of six on the back but you're gonna see them right here so we won't spend too much time on that all the packaging is essentially the same here we have a 2018 Ford F350 Lariat really nice white paint job now these have a metal body and a plastic base and one of the coolest things I've noted about these right off the bat is that they all have those big huge mirrors which look make the truck like complete if they wasn't there that wouldn't be so great so really like that Greenlight put these mirrors on these trucks here we've got a really cool paint job on the 2018 Dodge Ram 3500 check out that big bulldog face the spiky collar and another Ford, this one's a, uh, let's focus here, a nice metallic ruby red, 2019 F350. I don't think there's any opening parts on these trucks, but if they lack in moving parts, they make up for in detail and sheer scale size in the 164 scale. Here we have a 2018 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 HD with the uh, kind of utility back on it. And now a Dodge Ram in the utility version, 2018, 3500. This one, interestingly, comes with a gooseneck attachment. All the trucks have the hitch and tow trailer, so they're all compatible with pulling uh, your trailers from hitch and tow series. I did bring out my gooseneck uh, monster, Bigfoot monster truck trailer here to demonstrate any of these uh, pulling capacities. And here from a previous purchase, this is an, a hobby exclusive. Now, when these trucks first came out, they were all metal. So I think the only difference you're going to see really is uh, is the weight of the vehicle. This is a very heavy vehicle being all die cast. And these ones to keep the price point um, still affordable for collectors alongside all other green light vehicles. That's I'm pretty sure why they've gone with the plastic base. But still highly detailed. So anyways, we'll get a full review going. Also, bonus material here. Finally, uh, one of my most highly anticipated castings of 2019. The Chevy Caprice Classic and this is the NYPD New York Police Department blue on white 1990 there's already a couple releases I've already ordered my home alone version it's in the mail so we're gonna look at uh, some other cool cars because as you can see I am inundated with green light I bought so much green light stuff there's been so much good stuff coming out this past uh, month or two and a lot more really cool stuff coming out so stick around lots more reviews on that coming up Let's get into this video, opening up all of these awesome trucks to start with and park them alongside this police car to show the true scale of these vehicles. First vehicle out of the package is going to be one of the Fords so I can compare it to this hobby exclusive version that came out previously. So let's pull out this nice metallic red version of this Dually Driver Ford F350. And now I've got the plastic just trimmed around the outside so I can slide this beast out oh yeah check it out wow so right off the bat noticeably lighter but that's okay let's see what else we can notice on this awesome truck taking a close look at it really nice detailed tires check out those Goodyear tires on it all the proper badging so far as I can see marker lights on the roof big clear transparent separate headlights you got those mirrors separate windows all the way around running boards incorporated into the chassis so we've got some details on the chassis you can see the four-wheel drive transfer case drive shafts all that stuff tailpipe assembled with uh, one rivet oh, two more rivets at the back here so three rivets holding it all together now the body's a one piece on these vehicles. It's not a separate box, but uh, lots of nice details showing the uh, body lines and the doors and all that stuff. Got the little trailer hitch 
for pulling the hitch and tow trailers. Really cool. Check out the uh, details on that back window. So now comparing it to their previous. Now this truck here, to be fair, cost about three times what this truck cost. And also more limited production. I had to buy it on eBay. Well, all these I have to buy on eBay, but for anyone in the United States, you probably can find these in the stores in due time. But right off the bat, um, a little bit, uh, a little bit more detail perhaps on the more expensive version. And these are still available on eBay if you want to spend twenty, thirty dollars on them, but it's quite expensive. So nice two-tone paint job on the upper one here, but I mean everything else pretty much the same. Same wheels, same tail lights. No license plate on the uh, Dually Driver Series 1. That's okay, not a big deal. It is missing the uh, Super Duty Tampo on the back. A difference in size on the uh, Ford logos on the tailgate. I just noticed my uh, exclusive one here. Got a bit of a crooked, crooked uh, panel in the back. Probably just a manufacturing issue. I could probably pop that down. This one has that as well. Could be part of the interior. But yeah, very nice trucks. Very comparable. Quite happy with the quality on this truck. I've just got my camera tilted a little bit here. Let's see if we can get it for a nice roll. Straight wheels, straight rolling tires. And uh, most importantly, let's check out the scale. I haven't reviewed this car with you yet, but I do have it out here. So you can see this is a full size, an actual full size car from 1990. A very large car. And uh, you can still see the, the size of that Super Duty truck. So quite quite a large vehicle all right let's get some more of these out of the packaging get them all lined up for you and uh, take a nice look at them all 2018 Ford F350 coming out now we're gonna do the Fords then the Chevys then the Dodge all right there's a very nicely detailed white version of the same truck basically that we just looked at Terrific details all the way around. A little bit of a tire misalignment here on the rim. Looks like some excess flashing. This is typically quite easy to fix once you got your truck out of the package. Sometimes you got to get your little hobby knife out and do a little flashing repair, but no big deal. As you can see, you can just pull that tire right off. Put it on singles. Looks like a, a railway truck now. So actually it doesn't look like there's any flashing issue on the wheel, I just probably have to realign it. Um, these wheels can come off, you can pull the whole wheel off and the axle right out if you want to change them up. But anyways, there, it shows you the detail on these things. Cool little tire. And basically the same trucks. Let's hook it up to that um, gooseneck. For the big old... Bigfoot, Ford pulling a Bigfoot here. Looks really nice. Really nice uh, combination here. So Greenlight's made lots of gooseneck trailers in the Hitch and Toe series and many exclusives as well. So if you're looking for a gooseneck, you can even buy them just a trailer from certain sellers on eBay. Uh, we have reviewed this truck already in a previous video. If you haven't seen it for some reason, check out my uh, Kings of Crunch and Bigfoot uh, collections and that sort of thing. All right, on to a Chevy now. Let's try one of these utility trucks. Well, actually, both Chevys are utility version. This is a really nice metallic blue, 2018. 3500 HD coming out now. And just a quick side note, uh, the tire just needed to be adjusted. I took it off, put it back on. We're all set on that Ford. So we'll park that next to the other Ford. Get this truck out of the package. Another great rolling truck. Let's look at some of the details on this one. Big utility wheels. A little bit of tire. Coming off the rim there again. Great dualies on it. Heavy metal box. It's all this one's actually two pieces. You can see the cab is separate from the box. So you could actually put uh, you could switch this up if you drill out the rivets, if you were so inclined. 
pretty cool lots of weight on this truck separate hood as well by the look of the casting don't think it opens though never seen that one open on this truck before nice details on the headlights and the grill and uh, decent details on the chassis very cool it's another big truck park that caprice next to it all right next one coming out this black version here very shiny very shiny truck cool another nice job another metal bed on the back which is pretty cool it's got a plastic headache rack very well detailed check out all the grill work in there the diamond plate metal really cool mud flaps love those mud flaps that's a really nice addition super cool you can carry this old capri sideways to the uh to the crusher when it's all done flatten her out i'm really enjoying this series guys i hope you uh if you like these i hope you're able to find these in the store i'm sure you will i don't know what the production numbers are on these it doesn't actually ever say the total anymore but um appears to be 1000 uh, 16119 is the uh, production on that one so well, actually they all are 16119 hmm oh no there we go but it is a five digit um it's a five digit production code this is number 1918 so I expect these would be released into the uh, over 10,000 range. So it should be pretty easy to find these. Now for a couple Dodges. I'll take this uh, Ram with the flatbed back on it. Out for the review next. It's interesting that they put the gooseneck with this truck. I guess you could glue that right to the, uh, the back. But it's not going to stay there on their own and pull a trailer unless you have like a static display. So there's the gooseneck. We'll get that out in a second. Just check out this truck first. Beauty. Lots of nice details. Door handles are painted. Even the little locks on the compartments on the side. Again, that nice metal diamond plate. Really cool. Big steel utility wheels on this truck. It's a nice roller. And what's the production on this one? 6,852. Check that out next to the Chevy. Big trucks. Similar boxes, but not the same, which is awesome. Love the uh, variations you can get here. And in fact, the Dodge truck has an all metal, completely metal. Uh, box on the back whereas this one has a metal platform and some plastic boxes that are incorporated into the chassis so a little less weight on the Chevy than on the Dodge I'd say actually the Dodge is the heaviest truck next to this Chevy with a big huge um, I forget what this is called but this big compartment box in the back that's the heaviest one out of the set last one out is the Bully Dog Ram and there it is Huge flat black Dodge Ram truck. Look at those dualies. Nice details on the bottom. That one manufacturer number 9854, so we're getting up there now. Bully dog across the uh, the visor at the front of the windshield. Really cool truck. And check out that big mean dog there's his rump back there his big huge head big huge uh spiky collar bully dog and uh, i did not forget my little uh, gooseneck attachment that came out with that last dodge so i think it's more fitting in the bully dog seems to make more sense for that truck than it does for this truck so but we don't really need it for this uh this bigfoot truck it already comes with one and there's the dodge Pulling the uh, the Ford. Someone out there has a comment for that. Leave it down in below. Let's start a little brand war here between the big three. Just kidding.
Oh, I mean, it'd be funny, but anyways. Keep it clean. All right, let's look at some uh, a few more cars out of this huge lot I have for you. I think I'm going to, because of this length of this video, I'm going to leave it to the Hot Pursuit cars. So I've got, uh, I had to get one of these cars. Oops, that's in the way. Montreal Police. This is from Series 23 of the Hot Pursuit. 1974 Dodge Monaco. So I got two of those because I'm Canadian. So I've got to have one of these cars. There's all six of the cars in the, um, six of the vehicles in the set for Series 23. I did not get all of the vehicles in that set. Just the ones I really wanted. And uh, the 90 Chevrolet Caprice was definitely high on that list. I got five of these things. Series 32, love them. These things are hot sellers right now on eBay. They're just disappearing from the uh, stores in droves compared to the other uh, cars in the Hot Pursuit series. So let's uh, take a close look at my Caprice. I've already got it opened up there and we'll get that Montreal Dodge Monaco out of the package as well. I almost forgot, I have one of these Series 3 Hot Pursuit 88 Ford LTD Crown Victoria wagons from the NYPD. So, I've got two of those opening them up. I've already got all three opened up here for your review. Oh, and I also have this one, Series 32, about one of these ones. 87 Ford LTD Crown Victoria wagon, State Police. And that one's the Louisiana State Police. So, we'll get that one out as well. I just realized I got a lot of cars here. So many Hot Pursuits, but number one. Check that car out. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm going to get a little zoomage on here. Zoom in. Great details. All the way around. Check out those authentic hubcaps. I mean, everything with green lights authentic, so that kind of goes without saying. Got this one piece uh, window insert piece inside now. So it really gives that Caprice the proper kind of uh, door sill depth. I mean, a lot of the cars have that. This is a one-piece window as well on this older casting of the Dodge Monaco. A much heavier casting than the Caprice, but it's a bigger car. It just uh, it feels like a heavier piece, though, all around. Uh, it has the opening hood, of course, and an uh, engine with some details. It uh, looks a little less detail than I remember. They've got the air filter painted orange, but everything else is just body color. In the past, these models often had... Um, like a, a fairly well detailed engine so this one kind of skimping on the paint job there but overall no skimping at all this Montreal police car looks really authentic nice Tampa work all the way around the deep dish hubcaps those separate transparent taillights and the little cherry on top really nice car always going to be one of my favorite castings are those Dodge Monaco's Oh, I, my bumper was off. I, I did see that in the package. This was the first car I opened up, but they're they're put on with these little pins, so a little dab of glue, and you're all set. If you find one that doesn't have the bumper attached, it's not a big deal. It actually will stay on all by itself. Just That's the way these things are assembled. They're, uh, they're so detailed, and uh, obviously they have to sacrifice a little bit of the uh, robustness and are somewhat fragile, but that's okay. Here we have an awesome wagon. Uh, this is probably the newest station wagon, or, well, maybe not. They've released the station wagon in many different paint jobs so far now over the last couple months. You've got the drop down tailgate. I don't want to force mine down. It looks like I've got a little bit of a misalignment there, so I'm not going to force it. I've never had an issue with these tailgates before, though. It still does open, just it's getting a little bound up on something there. But super details. These two cars obviously go together like just perfectly. So I have lots of NYPD cars released from Greenlight over the years. So in a future video, I'm going to get all my NYPD Greenlight cars out for a NYPD police video for you guys. One last police car to add to the collection from Series 32. This is still the, uh, if I hadn't said it before, the latest Hot Pursuit series to date at this uh, time of filming, September 2019. And this one has got a nice paint job on it. Crime Lab! Oh, I like that. It's the Crime Lab car with dark tinted windows. Um, no hitches on these cars. Oftentimes you've seen these cars with the hitch and tow compatible hitches. And I've noticed the tailgate doesn't drop down on this one either all the way. There may be a slight change in how they've assembled these or designed them. 
because all my previous cars the tailgate did drop flat so maybe it's just a an odd coincidence I got two that don't drop flat but check out the year-to-year -year model changes on these cars it's really quite clever as I've said before Greenlight is very clever at how they they can make these castings and so many year-to-year -year models without a huge expense of retooling just based on how they, the cars are assembled in so many different parts but uh, I love these station ways I'm gonna buy every single one they produce can't wait for a demolition derby edition of cars Greenlight if you're uh, watching this far into this video you gotta give us some derby cars derby painted uh, caprice derby painted wagons it's derby season I'm thinking about demolition derby a derby Monaco all these big old 70s and 80s cars in derby version a whole derby series over and over again buy them all never stop buy doubles of them all so uh, if you guys agree with me let's make a, a green light movement here to get some derby cars out there you can be pulling them around on this this gooseneck here you got your big old derby car going to the junker ah oh, it'd be awesome anyways I digress hope you enjoyed this video also a big thank you to all those that commented on my last video uh, it was the uh, the $1,000 Hot Wheels haul. Those cars have made it to the wall. We'll update. So we've got a whole bunch of um, the Highway and Sheriff Patrol cars now. All those variations I was talking about. As well as the coveted Hot Birds now on the wall. They're all pointed backwards from most of my cars because I need to take some photos of them. But there you have it. Check out all those beauties. Wow. Tan interior. The gold ultra hot. Silver Hot One, Gold Hot One versions, of course all the black uh, kind of black versions with the Firebird, red interior as a rare one. Uh, anyway, some really cool stuff. It all went on the wall, and oh, the XT3s. Those were the other ones. XT3. Look at them all. Oh my goodness, so many variations of purple. We got just tons and tons of variations. So if you didn't watch that video, go back and watch that one. Uh, but thank you to all those that commented on on the uh, video and my uh, little speech at the end of it it's definitely still making videos guys don't worry about that just not in the same quantity as maybe before but maybe some better quality hopefully some better quality and uh, once I get this this table unearthed of all these cars it's getting there I'm getting through it um, maybe time for a, a stop-motion demolition derby video at some point don't hold me to it those take a lot of time and time is running scarce these days, but it's certainly something I would love to do. Uh, a new stop motion video on the diorama. Which right now is a parking area for rusted out Johnny Lightning cars and green light Kings of Crunch monster trucks. Stick around for more videos, guys and girls. And of course, if you're after any of these cars I've showed you in this video, happy hunting.